What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today I'm gonna to be showing you the best way to clean your Apple AirPods. This is gonna work for the AirPods, the first generation, the second generation, and probably even the third generation when they come out either later this year or in 2020. So of course my second generation AirPods here are still fairly new. I've only used them for about a month now and they don't have as much buildup and they don't need cleaning, but the original AirPods here I've owned since day one and I've been using them pretty much every day for over two years. And actually just a couple weeks before I picked up the AirPods second generation earlier this year I did notice that the left AirPod in my first generation AirPods here was noticeably louder than the right AirPod and there was also a lack of bass and I thought that it was just age catching up to them I thought that they were you know starting to wear down which is kind of soon for an Apple product but still I tried out listening to different things I tried cleaning out my ears themselves but still I noticed that the left AirPod was louder than the right you know I even went into the accessibility menu to make sure that my audio levels were even and they were but still there was low and muffled audio on the right AirPod and then finally it hit me that the problem wasn't my ears or the software or the AirPods themselves. It was probably just the buildup of wax and dust inside of the AirPod itself. And sure enough, looking inside of the AirPod itself and even inside the case, you can see there is a lot of wax buildup and things like that. I haven't cleaned these things in about a year now. I know that's bad. You should probably clean them every few months, but I have been slacking on cleaning these guys. And honestly, a lot of people probably just try using like a microfiber to clean it, but that's really not enough. So I wanted to show you the best way to clean your AirPods in this video. So what I'm gonna be using in this video and what I recommend you use as well is a Q-tip, a toothpick, or a sim ejector tool. Either one works. I would recommend a toothpick, uh, a microfiber, a screen cleaner, or rubbing alcohol. And if you're gonna be using rubbing alcohol, I would recommend 90% or higher. But you can see here, I am using a screen cleaner. This is actually an optic cleaner for DSLR camera, so I can clean the lens. Anything like that works as well, but rubbing alcohol, you know, as an alternative as well, they may have just around the house. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take the AirPods out of the case itself, and we're gonna set the case to the side. We'll clean that here in a minute. And now what you wanna do is put some rubbing alcohol or some screen cleaner on a Q-tip. So this is a spray bottle, so I'm just gonna spray a few sprays on one end of the Q-tip. And now I'm just gonna rub inside the grill of the AirPod right here. So I'm just rubbing, you can already see the wax loosening up and you can see it on the Q-tip already. So I'm just gonna keep rubbing around the grill. Don't put too much pressure because it is a mesh grill. You don't wanna damage anything. So just keep rubbing right there. Then we get this top part right here as well. Just rub anywhere where you see a mesh grill and you see any kind of buildup of wax or dust or anything like that. And then once you've loosened the wax with some rubbing alcohol or some screen cleaner, you wanna use a toothpick or your semi jack tool to get rid of the wax. So we're just gonna go around and collect all the wax from inside. You can see it there on the toothpick, there's a good bit. And I guess I would recommend a napkin as well for you guys to rub this wax off on. And then once you've got most of the wax out, you wanna take your microfiber towel, spray that with a little bit of rubbing alcohol or screen cleaner, and then go ahead and rub around all over the body of the AirPod and also inside there where the mesh grill is. And you should already start seeing a big difference in the cleanliness of your AirPod. And there you go, you can see the right AirPod is looking pretty much brand new at this point. You can see most of the wax is completely out. There may be a little bit up in this top grill, so I'm just gonna go back with a toothpick and repeat those same steps until everything is gone. And if you do have some compressed air laying around or anything with air in it, you can also push some air in there as well to get any kind of dust or particles out of the AirPod itself as well. And once you finish cleaning up the AirPods, you wanna set them face downwards. You want any kind of liquid or anything that went into the AirPod itself to come out. So you wanna put it facing downwards instead of facing upwards like this. So put it down like that. Now we're gonna move on to the left. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're just gonna rub all over the grill of the AirPod itself and all around the body, all the different grills, all three grills and around the body here. Then we'll just take our toothpick and clean around the edges and get the rest of that wax out of there after it's been loosened up in all three of the grills. Go ahead and wipe it off on our little napkin there. Then we're just gonna take our microfiber and clean around everywhere on the AirPod as well, the body and the mesh grills. And then set that one face down as well. Now let's move on to the case itself. You can see there is a good amount of dirt all around here, uh, even inside of here where the AirPods went, like the ear part of the AirPods went. Up around here, you can see there's a lot of dirt and dust and wax, a lot of different build up there. We're basically gonna do the same thing. We're gonna spray some rubbing alcohol or some screen cleaner on the Q-tip, go around there, and then we're gonna use the toothpick to go around inside of these little crevices like this. And 
Then we'll just take our microfiber and clean it off as well once we've rubbed around a little bit with that alcohol or screen cleaner filled Q-tip. And we also went around the crevices with the toothpick. You can already see a big difference in this AirPods case right here. It looks so much cleaner already. And some of that dirt can be really stubborn. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it a little bit with this air especially around the crevices right around here in the back near the hinge. And there you have it. These guys look pretty much brand new now. You don't really see any of that dirt that you saw before, especially none of that wax build up on the AirPods case itself. And the AirPods themselves as well, you don't really see any of that wax inside of the mesh grills or you know any three of the mesh grills or around the edges or anything like that. They look pretty much brand new. So this is a great way to clean your AirPods if you're having trouble hearing out of them or if they just look nasty or if you're trying to sell them on eBay or something like this, this is the way you should clean them. You can have the cleanest ears in the world and use Q-tips daily, but wax is eventually going to get into your AirPods and you should definitely clean them from time to time. I really wouldn't go more than six months without cleaning them. Now, another tip I wanna give you guys, if you're having trouble hearing audio out of one of your AirPods, if the audio is lower or muffled more than the other, one thing you can do is actually suck on the AirPod. I'm not kidding. You can literally suck in on the AirPod, obviously after you've cleaned them like I showed you in this video, preferably with alcohol if you are gonna be putting them in your mouth. And then you just take the head of the AirPod itself and suck in with your mouth. And I've read multiple people, tons of people said that this solved a lot of audio issues with their AirPods. So if you're still having audio issues after cleaning them, definitely go ahead and suck on the head of the AirPod pause and that will, that will supposedly fix your audio issues. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick audio test with these AirPods One and see if the audio is better with or without sucking, so I will be right back. All right, so I just tested them out after cleaning and I didn't really notice a difference, so I did the sucking technique and it actually worked. So I can definitely recommend that myself now. So if you're having audio issues, definitely go ahead and clean your AirPods first to make sure that's not you know what's causing it, and even if it is, you wanna clean them before you put them in your mouth, and then go ahead and suck on whatever AirPod is is giving you audio issues. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is the best way to clean your AirPods and also help get the audio back in an AirPod if you were having issues with it via your mouth. So anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If it did help you out, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other future tutorials like this on AirPods or iPhones, any of that fun stuff that you guys will be interested in. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. This was a fun video to make and I will see you soon.